So today's shoot's gonna concentrate on using strobe outdoors. Um, I have an overcast guy for the shoot and I want subtle lighting. I, I don't, want the, don't want the photos to look like I'm using flash. Now the two big problems or issues people have with strobe um, when they first start using them is they turn this up too high thinking, you know, the more the power, the better. Um, you know, I have to make people see that I'm using a strobe, uh, which, you know, I know a lot of people like to turn day into night and overpower the sun and so forth, but just ha adding a touch of strobe into a photo uh, and, and having it look natural um, is something really special. And, you know, you should definitely try it and play with this. Uh, because you really enjoy the photographs and, and appreciate uh, the talent that it takes to do this. Um, the other thing is putting your strobe on the opposite side of the sun. Uh, I see a lot of photographers do this and you know it just looks unnatural. You, you can see the photo and it may be a nice photo but then there's something wrong with it. There's something like you know if, like if a shadow fell in the wrong direction or you know a reflection was in the opposite side. You understand what I'm saying is it, it, there's just something about it and you go, mm, that doesn't make sense. Um, and especially with light, you know, our brains pick up that pattern of light so, so easily. Um, and sometimes we don't even realize what it is. We just know there's something wrong with it. So always have your strobe. And now I, I get that you want to fill in the flash on the, on the dark side or fill in the shadows on the dark side. You would think, okay, well, I'm going to put the flash on the opposite side so I can fill in those shadows. Put it on the same side of the sun, feather it over, make it natural looking. Um, anyway, that's the whole point of the shoot today. We're gonna try some studio shots as well. Again, trying to get that natural look versus the in your face strobe. Um, but anyway, join me on the shoot and, and we'll see what we can do. If you have any questions, leave them below as always. Thank you again for watching. Um, by the way, I'm using the 8100 Flashpoint uh, Godox whatever it is, strobe, um, just with a straight diffuser on it, nothing special. Um, I'm not using any other modifiers. I'm using the lightweight stand. Um, I'm gonna be shooting with the Leica SL2S uh, cause I really have to learn this camera better than I know it at this point. Um, I know the Leica M like the back of my hand, but this SL2S is, you know, this is my third time using it. So I really want to push and learn what the camera camera is capable of, the lenses are capable of. Anyway, uh, that's the equipment for today. So enjoy the shoot. So here we go. The sun is directly behind her. It is overcast, but you can still see that shadow coming in front of her. But most of the light flow is coming from the left side um, because of that white trailer and the lighter ground. Now I'm set at one eighth power, so it's there. It is filling, but it's, there's nothing special about it. If I take it up to one quarter power, uh, keeping everything the same, it's going to give her face just a little bit more pop, um, more fill, pull her out from the background just a little bit more, but not be unnatural. Now, even though the sun is directly behind her, you would think either side is fine, but you, you're going to see because of that light flow, because of the lighter ground and that white trailer, if I move it in the opposite direction of the light flow, it's going to look like a flash was in her face. Now it's a little bit closer, obviously, but it still looks unnatural, whether it was farther back or not. You're getting conflicting shadows, um, conflicting light, and it just doesn't make sense in the photo. Um, and that's that thing that, you know, when you see a photo and it just, something bothers you about it, um, so much of the time when they're using flash, it's because of that light flow. So I'm moving back. Um, I'm, I'm at just slightly under one quarter power and it's a natural fill, a natural looking light, and this is what I like. It's not a special photo by any means, but it's that natural look that I'm going for. Now moving her against the blue, you know, non-reflective, if you will, or more light absorbing trailer, um, it's the same thing. I'm, I, I put the light in the direction of the sun, but it still looks like a flash. You know, number one, because it's too high. Number two, because I'm at off access from the sun and the strobe. Um, so you, you have to juggle a little bit uh, and play with this to figure out, okay, what's the best light pattern? You know, what's the best light flow? 
Uh, but once you get it, you're going to get more and more natural looking photos uh, with strobe uh, that gives you just the right fill. Now this one is almost there, but it's just not quite. So I'm going to drop this flash down just a little bit, you know, lower it. So I'm getting, you know, light underneath her chin, dial it back just a hair. And now this is a more natural looking light flow or light pattern, if you will. Um, now it doesn't look like you're using flash. It just looks like you're shooting in my opinion. <laughs> um, but this is what I'm looking for when I'm shooting with flash outdoors. I, I don't want to compete with the sun. I just want to enhance it just a little bit. Another really nice part about using strobe outdoors is that separation. Now, if you're in a nice environment or, I mean, this isn't the greatest environment, but you still have, you know, an environment to show in the photo. This is a 1.8 lens. Uh, it's an out of 1.2, so it's not going to turn it into this obliterated blur. So I still need separation, and the strobe can do that as well. Um, so I'm going to take it up just a touch, just to give a little bit more contrast or light on her face, and, and try to separate her from the background while still showing the background. I still have a natural looking light. It's not like an in-your-face strobe, but I can still see the backdrop. You know, it falls off nicely. There's a nice blur, but it's not obliterated, um, which is what I love in photos. So I'm still keeping it natural, but just a little less <laughs> than I was shooting before. Um, I'm getting like a, a soft shadow um, light on her face to make her face pop and catch lights in her eyes. It just works just by dialing down the flash. So play with this, you know, get outside, use your flash, but dial it back and move it up a little bit in little increments to see what you can do. And definitely watch your light patterns. Um, you know, that is the number one killer of, of strobe photography is going in the opposite direction of the sun um, or the light flow. Uh, it just looks like a strobed picture. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how else to put it. Uh, anyway, so dropping her down, I, I want to pull her out even more because it's going to be a tighter shot and, and I'm not going to have the, as much room for the blur to pull her out. So you know, I don't mind the extra little pop in these photos uh, to bring her out. You know, it is a flash. A photographer is going to be able to see that it's a flash, but it's still subtle. And we're just moving locations to, you know, have her lay on the ground. She wanted to lay on the ground some, for some shots. Um, now, believe it or not, I'm going to actually take some, you know, her, shots of her laying on the ground without a flip screen. <laughs> you don't know how it's possible, I know, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'll start off, you know, right off, she's in shade right now. So, you know, the tree, the tree is giving some shade. Uh, it is still a really diffuse sun, but even that slight bit difference of shade um, and the flash is pretty far away and it's the AD100 so it doesn't have that much power but you can see that there's a flash there. Uh, so this is that the subtle changes you have to make. I mean here's the flash it's at one quarter power and it's this far away with a diffuser on it and you can still see it um, and you can see that the shadow there isn't that that much. Now I'm almost there it's still a little bit of unnatural to me um, but if I just dial it back, it's the same angle because it's, you, know, you really can't change the angle at this point uh, because of the diffused light. Now this is a little bit better, um, not perfect, but I do like the shot. Uh, and it's giving some nice catch lights and light on our face. Now here's me shooting you know, that low angle without a flip screen. Uh, the light, I got natural, I, f I just ever so slightly uh, dropped it down a little bit more and it just gave natural light. The shooting down because of the angle you can see the different look it has with the strobe just because of the angle of myself not even the strobe and it, that to me looks unnatural. Anyway I finished off in the studio I just wanted to show you a couple shots from the studio. Um, the very first shot you know this is I instantly go into flash mode studio flash mode and it's an unnatural looking light. And it and it took me a little bit to get to where I wanted to be with this. But that to me is just like, okay, you're in a studio, you're using a strobe. It's just, 
Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. Um, now, because she's on the ground, I didn't change the light. I'm just getting the diffuse light on her. <clears throat> a little bit of a, a wisp. It's a little bit better, but it's just not perfect. It's not anything to where I want to be yet. Um, and believe me, like I've been doing this for 40 years, and I still need to trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Um, when I'm going for that natural kind of light look. So don't get frustrated. I mean, if I've been doing this for this long and I still have to practice it and do these fine adjustments to get to where I want to be, um, you're going to need to too. <laughs> so don't be frustrated by flash. Just try. You know, don't be afraid to turn that thing down, turn it up, angle it. Um, try anything to get to where you want to be. Uh, this I like a little bit more. It, it's a little bit more natural just not quite there yet anyway just i just wanted to show the first couple minutes from the studio session um and this is one of our final shots um anyway i hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions leave them below